hello. Oh, I was going to leave my hat on and not show anybody my haircut. Messed that up, didn't I? Um, they get it. Uh, I'm somewhere new. Um, I'll show you. Um, yeah. I can't see the sea. Um, so this happened. Uh, let's go and have a look at my new home. the right way yeah sorry this is going to be a video filmed entirely on my phone because in four hours I'm going across the English Channel um, obviously not on my boat but uh, yeah so this is just gonna be a quick video this week uh, it's not a daily update I'll do it as an episode because why not um, ta -da! we're back on the hard um, why well, uh, the reason I've come to the front of the boat is because there's people near the back and you know what I'm like. Uh, Hayden from the marina, I was talking, I've, I've been in a mess the last month or so. Worried about the boat, lost confidence in the boat, lost confidence in myself a little bit. Um, which you can probably tell by the fact that I've not gone anywhere. Um, so we were sat down and he was saying like, why do you actually want to go up to Fleetwood? I said, well, I can get lifted out cheap. Uh, get the jobs done and I kept people to help me and stuff like that and it's like well, there's no there's no chandleries up there there's no nothing um which there isn't he's like and you don't trust the boat why not just get hauled out here do the bloody work just do it all here set off wherever you want um so that's what I'm doing uh I'm not going to Fleetwood anymore uh or I might do just to say hi but basically I'm going to do the work over the next couple of months. Um, I've got a job at um, a building over there. It's a pub that's opening, part of the marina. Um, so I'll be working behind the bar there, try and get um, to pay my way basically, um, and doing videos about doing work on the boat and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm a boat fixing channel. I've already diagnosed the gearbox issue, which uh, wasn't a gearbox issue. Let's have a butch. You can see she's uh, blasted the Ujimi stuff off. See all this osmosis and stuff, the little blisters? I'm sanding all this out. I'm sorting all this out. I'm doing the full hull. Um, I'm even going to paint over the gel coat because it's, it's tired. Um, Tell you, aren't you, girl? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna paint, epoxy paint the full thing and get rid of all the osmosis and stuff like that. Uh, prop shaft. <sighs> Have you spotted it yet? It's a tapered shaft. So when I'm driving forwards, the prop was pushing onto the taper, giving me drive. As soon as I go reverse, prop is pulling off the taper resting up against that um, and just slipping on the shaft so the shaft was spinning but the prop wasn't um, so I'm gonna redo all this bolt put some washes in there and get it tightened up properly I might replace the prop it depends how I feel um, I'm gonna redo all the rudder these held up all right uh, Cockpit drains, I'm going to take those out and I'm going to move them around here slightly below the water line and go straight up to the cockpit with sea cocks on. Um, Cause when I'm at anchor, cause these are at the water level, as a, water, as a little swell goes up, it goes and it's friggin' annoying. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to reinforce all the transom with um, fibreglass, make it thicker inside and out, 
uh, to make this, because I don't know if you can see the transom move a bit there, to make that a lot stronger. I'm going to replace all the exhaust hose and water traps. I'm going to empty the entire boat. I'm looking into getting some storage here. Um, empty the entire boat. Paint all the bilges, clean and paint all the bilges. Um, I may take the engine out again and reassess the mounts and do a more permanent job of it. Uh, I'll speak to Jez who runs Moonfleet, the big tall ship. He knows everything there is to know about boats, he's a surveyor, so um, he's very kindly said that he'll come and have a look at things for me and give me a good idea of what needs doing properly uh, by a professional person, not just some idiot. Uh, yeah. Uh, paint all the bilges. I'm going to get rid of the four-peak cabin. It's just used for storage, so I'm going to make it into storage. Put shelves in there that I can keep my beaching legs in and... Um, all that sort of stuff. Uh, the wind vane, have somewhere proper to put the wind vane when it's not in use. I'm going to fix the wind vane properly, uh, redesign it slightly, um, and epoxy coat all the little rudder on it and all that stuff. I know this is just a talking video and I'm sorry, but literally I've got to film this, get it uploaded. I've got to go down to Panther, film another video, um, which is what YouTube will see next week. Hopefully the patrons will get it on Monday. Uh, and then tonight I've got to film me crossing the English Channel uh, at night on a night passage, so that'll be fun. So although I am starting boat work when I get back, I'm actually in France for 10 days. Uh, so I'll be recording all that. That'll be like a little mini series coming up uh, of, of sailboat racing uh, and racing tuition and stuff like that. Um, so I'm basically filming three videos today and I've not got time to breathe. So I, I can't edit this, this is just on my phone and it's going up and that's that. Uh, what else is there? Yes, basically I live in Portland now for the next few months. Uh, that's what I was saying, so you won't, I'm starting the boat work in 10 days when I get back from France. But you won't see the boat work for probably a few months, a couple of months. Uh, there'll be a, a lot of sailing videos before that. Uh, on other people's boats um, and I think I'm going to do my day skipper as well because it's going to make the insurance easier to get um, so rather than me filming what I do week in week out like I used to because I needed the footage it means I should be able to do all the work in a couple of months but maybe condense it into four episodes or five episodes then you guys aren't sat just watching me scrub epoxy off a hull uh that's the plan uh I, i'm exhausted i haven't slept in three nights just because all this is going on and my head's been all over the place and just can't switch off and get to sleep so i'm not good this is what's happening uh it's it's the most logical decision it's cost me two and a half hundred pounds to get hauled out and uh, it's going to cost me about 280 pound a month uh to stay on the hard i reckon i'm going to be on here for two months Maybe, depends how tired I am after work because I'm going to be pulling 10 hour shifts or whatever uh, to try and get the money to pay for all this. Um, so yeah, um, obviously I get paid off YouTube and Patreon but it's not enough to do all the boat work. It's probably I could probably exist on it um, if I was out of marinas but doing a waffle now. Uh, yeah, sorry my head's all over the place, I've not slept, not done anything. Um, but that's the head and tails of it. Oh, mast. Um, I'm going to redo the mast. I'm going to get a rigger to look at it. I'm going to explore options with Selden, but I don't know how much that will cost. I may be able to work out a deal with them. Um, I'm going to run everything back to the cockpit. There. I've just been talking to Dan today and there might be an option to put a uh, retractable spinnaker pole on there as well for uh, a nice downwind sailing. Um, redo the gooseneck and the boom, if um, depending on what I can afford. I'm definitely doing the gooseneck because I'm, I'm not actually showing you that, but I'm not happy with that either. Uh, get all the rigging inspected. Um, all the electronics and everything inside, I'm going to do the proper job that I would have done. Uh, if it was permanent, which it now will be, and then hopefully I'll just get her back in the water 
do some sail training around here, some different courses and stuff like that. I'll still be going on other people's boats and stuff. Um, I hope to God this is still recording. It is. Um, yeah. And then just go south from here for winter. Um, maybe hit the med a little bit, like this end of the med. Uh, I want to go across the Atlantic. I might be able to do that this year now instead of next year. Um, because I don't have to mess about going up there and, and, and all the rest of it. And there are so many people here who are willing to help with tools, to lend me tools and stuff like that. I'd, I'd, I'd be stupid not to take advantage of their knowledge and experience. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, right. Enough of that. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I know it's just a stupid little video. And I know I can't think straight, but uh, I know it's just me standing in a boatyard looking at a phone pretending it's people which is never never not gonna seem weird that uh yeah that's the plan now i need to go and film a video on panther and then hopefully maybe get an hour's sleep because i am ball bagged um please don't unsubscribe bye